Life expectancy across the entire world has increased exponentially over the past century. However, many of the modern diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's and cancer have been increasing as well. Mental health is also at a rapid decline in many industrialized societies. Depression, anxiety, substance abuse and drug abuse are at an all-time high. Despite the abundance modern world offers us, many people report chronic stress, mental health issues, poor health and unhappiness. There is no single fix to this. There needs to be dozens of things that needs to be fixed. However, there is one thing that can give almost instantaneous relief and improve your health over the long term. Humans have spent over 99% of their history living in the natural environments. We've always been surrounded by trees, fresh air, fluctuations in temperature and broad vistas. Nowadays, you can live your entire life without coming into any contact with nature. Cities are just full of concrete, cars, tall buildings, and a lot of noise. But don't take my word for it. Systematic reviews have seen forest bathing to positively impact blood pressure, heart rate variability, stress levels, heart function, immune function, inflammation levels, oxidative stress, anxiety, depression, and emotional health. In 1984, the American clinical psychologist Craig Broad coined the term techno-stress, which describes the mental and physical stress caused by excess use of technology. Excess use of social media is associated with higher mental health problems, anxiety, and depression. Spending time in nature lowers stress hormones, normalizes heart function, brings your body back to a parasympathetic state, and eases the mind. Many countries in the world, like Japan, Finland, and Sweden, are starting to implement nature therapy as a preventative medical tool by providing people adequate time for downtime and encouraging them to spend it in natural green spaces, as opposed to keeping workers stuck in office buildings, stuck in highways, and stuck in busy city streets. It apparently doesn't have to be an actual forest, as many big cities don't have access to a large forest. Urban green spaces, such as parks or just gardens, have been seen to be enough to have a positive response on the individual's biomarkers and health. What's even more, just watching videos of natural spaces versus human-built spaces increased the viewer's cooperative and social behavior. Thus, just seeing nature or possibly working in a space that just has more houseplants or a nice view out of the window could be enough to affect your biology in a positive way. It's likely that looking at a picture of nature or just looking at a video of nature on your computer screen, which will then cause techno stress, is probably not enough to give you the most optimal beneficial response from this nature bathing. Being in a forest and being surrounded by trees also exposes your body to different stimuli that are unobtainable from a picture or a video. First of all, fresh air. Forests and parks have a lot cleaner air than streets or even your indoors air in your house. Air pollution and poor air quality are estimated to kill several thousands of people every year. Clean air is one of the best things for your health and it's worth it to purify your lungs with it daily. Secondly, bright daylight from the sun helps to synchronize your circadian rhythms, which has been seen to boost your mood, reduce fatigue and improve your sleep. The UV radiation from the sun is essential for health as it helps to produce vitamin D, the master hormone in the body, and also provides other anti-inflammatory effects. You can't get that from a vitamin D supplement. Third, being in a forest and nature exposes you to different bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms. Touching the soil and ground exposes your skin microbiome to the microbiome of the soil, which has tremendous benefits for your health and immune system. Lastly, being in nature also grounds you both physically and mentally. Being directly connected to the ground lowers your body's electromagnetic charge, which lowers inflammation and oxidative stress. Mentally, being in nature has generally a calming and soothing effect. So, as you can see, being in nature and nature exposure has both immediate and long-term benefits for your health. But how long do you need to be in nature in a particular moment to reap those benefits? Based on studies, spending at least 120 to 180 minutes a week in nature is associated with better health and well-being than no nature contact. The positive associations appear to plateau after 200 to 300 minutes per week, after which you don't see additional benefits. In practice, that's only 2 to 3 hours a week at minimum and up to 4 to 5 hours at maximum. You can easily achieve that by going for a 30 to 60 minute walk every day. That's not a lot, and if you think that it's not worth it, then you're wrong. Being in nature provides you with so many of the things that you can't get from anywhere else. And I'm not saying that you need to move to a forest or that you need to spend like the entire day outside in nature. But what I'm saying is that a lot of the mental health issues and the physical health 
health issues stem from excess use of technology as well as not being connected to nature and spending some additional time in nature and in natural spaces surrounded by natural environments generally has a positive effect on both your mental health and your physical health it's free it's relatively accessible to all parts of the world you just have to get out there thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered